The DigiSign feature in Zoho Docs enables you to collaborate with partners, employees, and customers on documents and then send them out for instant digital signatures. With this process, you can also use EchoSign for Zoho Writer to store forms and templates that you use again and again. Just make the quick changes to the template and then send it out for a digital signature straight from Zoho Docs. In order to use this function, you need to have a Zoho Docs account and an EchoSign account. Now, if you don't have an EchoSign account, you can sign up for one at echosign.adobe.com. Now, let's get started. Once you have finished formatting your document and when it's ready to be sent out for digital signing, click on the Share tab at the top and click on the DigiSign button. In the pop-up, put in your EchoSign account information, put in the recipient's email address, the one who's going to sign this document, in the To field. Put in a subject line and click on Send and you'll get a confirmation message. Just say OK and that's it. Your document has now been sent for digital signing. Now let me show you what happens on the signer's end. So the user gets an email with a link to click to review and e-sign the document. And when the user clicks on the link, he gets an option where he can click to sign. And there are two kinds of signing. EchoSign would do it for you as you type in your name, or you can actually draw your signature with your cursor or with a stylus if you are on a touch screen. And once he is done with signing, he should click on the button at the bottom and he's done. And you will get an email with the e-sign document in the attachment.